Well, this is Mr. Joe Strummer, and welcome very much to New York, sir. All right. Tell us about some of the work you've been doing for the movies. Well, um, I did a soundtrack for Walker. Uh, Alex Cox directed that, and uh, just done one for Permanent Record, directed by Marissa Silva. It's coming out on the 22nd of April, I think. Just right around the corner. Yeah. How is it working for Alex Cox? How is, did you guys work together pretty close? Or? Yeah, I mean, I've done Sid and Nancy with him and Straight to Hell and uh, Walker. He's a kind of crazy director. I don't think he's run of the mill, you know? <laughs> he's an outsider. Is he, is he an okay Joe to work with, though? Is he? Well, I've always enjoyed it, but, uh, you know, I'm a friend of his. So, so he's nice to you. Yeah. I thought Street to Hell was a very funny movie, by the way. Yeah, it really got panned, but uh, <laughs> I think in a few years it'll seem okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about this new one, Permanent Record. Well, it's about teenagers committing suicide, or a teenager committing suicide. And really, the, the film centers on his friends after the fact and how they come to terms with it. Because he was a popular guy, you know, it wasn't a, it wasn't a moody, you know, was case. Boner or like that. Yeah, he was a popular guy, a talented. And, and you wrote the score and... Yeah, I did most of it. There are some records from Bodine, Stranglers, Godfathers, and a song by J.D. Souther, and um, a Lou Reed tune. And uh, you've got a new single coming out. In fact, that we will premiere in the show in just a couple seconds, Trash yeah, City. Trash City, yeah. And that's, uh, I recorded that with a group I call the Latino Rockabilly War. It has uh, Poncho Sanchez and Raymond Banda in it, and uh, Xander Schloss, Willie McNeil, and Jim Donica, and myself. So, like, mostly L.A. people and... Yeah, and also Tupelo Joe Altruda from Tupelo Chainsex. And, well, here we go. Do you want to give them the name? Yeah, this is Trash City by uh, Joe Strummer and the Latino Rockabilly War.